Have you ever been to Utah, Arizona, or Colorado before? No. So why did you pick this location? Because I'd never been there before. And I haven't ever seen uh, like mountains or the desert or the Grand Canyon or Indian ruins or anything of that sort. What have you done to prepare for this trip? Um, well, me personally, I've gathered all the camping gear and uh, trained you, which is Jordan, um, to ride a motorcycle and then you took it upon yourself to learn even more and go and get your uh, motorcycle safety motorcycle safety uh, certificate and uh, you did an experienced rider course and basically we just just regular camping gear and then our motorcycle uh, outfits is, is all it takes you know? what are you most excited about the actual riding riding the motorcycles the time between the attractions. What are three things that um, you have to bring with you? Uh, like literal things? Yeah, three things that you are taking with you because you need them. My driver's license, <laughs> my credit card and a helmet. Do you think that you'll want to live uh, one of these areas when you leave? Um, I do think that, but I don't know. I've never been there. Alright, do you have anything else that you want to say before you we go on this trip? Uh, thank you to everyone who helped us um, fund this trip. It's a huge, uh, huge help to us, and we can't thank you enough. Um, a couple people we totally didn't expect, and we're really excited because, you know, like, I guess we didn't think that maybe they would want us to come visit them, but, um, some people reached out, and some people, you know, whether it was one dollar, or fifteen dollars, or a hundred dollars, you know, it, it all helped a lot, but um, some people, I think we're just going to plan on going and visiting uh, um, people that live anywhere near Pennsylvania. All right, then. See you when we uh, get back. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jordan. Have you ever been to Arizona, Utah, or Colorado before? Nope, I've never been there. Have you ever been out west before? Um, sort of, to Alaska. Does that count? <laughs> Not really out west, no. Alaska is about as west as it gets before it becomes east. Yeah, but nothing in the middle. Okay. Uh, what are you most excited about on this trip? I am most excited about just being out of the city, being away from everything, and being able to see the stars at night. Last, the other night I counted where I could see three stars, so pretty excited about just camping and looking at the sky and seeing like billions of stars. Billions of stars? Yeah. Okay. How many do you think there are? I don't think you can see billions of stars. Well, a lot. Um, what have you done to prepare for the trip? Uh, well, Neil's taken care of like the technical stuff, the GPS, the camera, and I've been 
responsible for the actual planning of where we go and the stops and the campgrounds and I think it's been really fun planning that out and um, making reservations at places and just you know having the maps. I really like to have maps and to know where we're going and, um, and also leave time for unexpected places because you never know what we're going to see along the way and where we stop and have, have time for that. So just been planning. Are you nervous about how often we're going to camp? No. We had a trial run camp uh, last weekend when I was getting my motorcycle license. It was only one night, but we did really great at it. And I think that like we have all the gear, we have everything we need, we're a really good team at it, and I think we'll be really good at camping. Uh, why did you pick these locations? I don't really remember how we got on to, you know, going out west. Like our friend recently moved out to Denver, so I think maybe that started it. And then also just the fact that I think we realized we needed a vacation because I was at one of my rotations and realized the pharmacists that are trying to get time off you know, it's been for six months in advance and they can't get the time off. So I know that like when I get a job, can't get time off, so they need to go on a vacation. And I guess it was an easy choice that let's go out to visit our friend. And then it turned into a motorcycle adventure, seeing really awesome things. Um, did it kind of just start as like, couple different places you wanted to see and then we realized that that kind of made a, a big loop and we just kept uh, adding places in between those? Yeah, I think once we realized that if we could get a week off and all these things that we wanted to see actually happened to be in a loop, in a circle, uh, around Utah, Arizona, and back to Colorado and it just made sense, like, okay, let's figure these things out, like how much writing can we do per day, what can we see, what's worth it, and um, that's where we're at right now. Are you excited about um, finding places that will um, inspire you to come back and spend more time? Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of places that we want to go back to. You know, a lot of these national parks that we're going to visit. People go and visit them for weeks, and we're going for one day. So we're trying to see like the main event there at that national park, but we could definitely spend way more time at them. So I mean, there, there's going to be a lot of places that I want to go back to. When you came back from Alaska, did you want to move there? I'm not sure I would say I want to move there. I mean, it was beautiful. But I don't know how the winters are like. I mean, the summer, it was raining every day. So I think I liked the idea of the landscape, the mountains and the elevation. I feel like I needed that in my life. But it doesn't have to be in Alaska. It could be Colorado. Are you nervous about how hot it's going to be in, like, the Moab Desert? No. I'm from Georgia. It's yeah. humidity. They don't have humidity, so we'll be fine. That's true. Uh, what are three things that you have you have to bring with you? Um, definitely the camera because I want to take pictures of everything. Um, I don't know what, what else I really need. I mean. Obviously my motorcycle gear, that's really important to me to bring, and um, my, my cell phone, because <laughs> I want to document pictures and call people when we're there and let them know we're safe, we made it, we had a good time. Where can people see your pictures? Probably on Facebook. Do you have a Twitter account? I do have Twitter. I'm an Insta gangster. What's uh? What's your Twitter name? Instagram. Jordan Nizzle. 
It's Jordan Nizzle. Mm -hmm. And what's your Instagram name? Jordan Nizzle. It's also Jordan Nizzle. 